Hey guys. So early on in my wedding planning, way early on, I had no idea what I was getting into. Planning a wedding is a piece of cake, right? I mean I had planned numerous parties, events, fundraisers, so a wedding will be a few more decisions. But it will be easy, overall. No sooner did I find out weddings are like a snowball. Once one thing is set, it opens the door to many other contemplations. Let me explain. In my naive frame of mind, I had seven months to plan. That's ample time. And the hardest decision would be a dress. If I was going to be indecisive, I knew it would be about what to wear. I am a fashion diva. My first stop would be David's bridal. I wanted a mermaid dress and a blush dress. I knew that years ago. Thank you, say yes to the dress. I did not see how logistical a Cinderella or ball gown dress would be for me. Since I am sitting down, I have to consider visibility. A poofy dress may prove too much and block my line of vision. I also did not want any volume or train to get caught in my wheels. So Mermaid has the wedding flair without the overwhelming volume. The first dress it tried on, I was ambiguous in my opinion. I could take it or leave it. That is not how you should feel about a wedding dress. My next two, though, would perplex me for the next two hours. The second dress was a blush, vintage dress. It looked like I should be in an old, western tavern, or a guest, at the Gatsby parties. The entire dress was covered in beadwork. It had a mermaid flare and layers. It was gorgeous, and it fit my style. Throughout this wedding planning process, my style preferences are so opposing that they are constantly a tug of war. I like straight edges, but, but I also love the old Hollywood era with Audrey Hepburn and Marilyn Monroe. This vintage dress really incorporated the femininity that Audrey Hepburn exuded. That dress was a yes. But, I still needed to try on the other dress I had brought in the dressing room. It was a mermaid dress. The bottom had layers of sheer, giving it the flair, while accentuating the right curves. It had a sweetheart neckline. And this dress was more modern. I was at a crossroads. Did I want to show off my modern side, or my vintage old Hollywood side? The beadwork on my vintage dress irritated my skin within five minutes. But the modern mermaid dress was not blush. In the end, I chose the modern dress. As a watcher of Say Yes to the Dress, I have learned that women don't always come out of the dress shop with their ideal dress in mind. And that is what happened to me. I did still get my intended mermaid shape, but there's something about the white dress look that you only get to flaunt one time in your life, that the blush-colored dresses don't offer. Please tune into part two of All You Need Is a Dress to hear more.